Hi, I am Anuj Modi, Assistant Professor, Adina Institute of Pharmaceutical Science, Sagar, Madhya Pradesh, India, with an interesting and learning episode of B Pharma on important unit of marine pharmacognosy, that is herbs as a healthy food, which is a very important unit of the section pharmacognosy B form 6 semester, which is prepared by me and Dr. Vimal Kumar, Professor and Head, Department of Phytopharmaceuticals and Natural Products, Institute of Pharmacy, Nirma University, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India. Let us start our episode while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Module 1 Classification of Nutraceuticals, Module 2 Herbs commonly used in nutraceuticals, Module 3 Future prospects of nutraceuticals. Module 1 Classification of Nutraceuticals Nutraceutical can be classified as follows. First, on the basis of their natural source. Second, on the basis of their pharmacological effects. Third, on the basis of their chemical constituent. We will study each one by one. First, on the basis of natural source. It can be classified as products obtained from plants, animal, microbial source and are restricted to them only. Products obtained from the plants like quercetin, pectin, cellulose, lycopene. Products obtained from the animals includes choline, lecithin and sphingolipids. Product obtained from the microbial source includes streptococcus species. Second, on the basis of their pharmacological effects. Nutraceutical can also be classified depending upon its therapeutic uses. For example, cardiac disease. Used herbs are garlic and vinica. Immunomodulator like ginseng. Arthritic support like glucosamine. Diabetic support like garlic and mamordica anti-inflammatory like curcumin and capsaicin. Third, on the basis of their chemical nature. Pharmacological activity of any food or nutrient prepared from herbs depend upon chemical constituent present in their composition. It is classified as follows. First, inorganic mineral supplements, second vitamin supplement, third digestive supplement, fourth probiotics, fifth prebiotics, six dietary fibers, seven antioxidants and phytochemicals. We will study in detail about each one by one. First inorganic mineral supplements. Inorganic elements play a vital role in the various physiological and biochemical function of human body. Most of these minerals are provided through the diet, but their deficiencies in diet may develop variety of health related problem and disease. For example, calcium it is used for the treatment of decalcification of bone, magnesium it controls various enzymatic process and critical in the proper use and maintenance of calcium. Magnes controls many enzymatic reaction and necessary for proper bone and cartilage formation. Phosphorus helps in bone formation. Boron is helpful in supporting the calcium and estrogen level in post menopausal in women. Zinc supports all antioxidant system by scavenging free radicals. Next vitamin supplements. Vitamins are the complex substances of organic origin which in small quantities 
are necessary for maintenance of human and animal life. Sources and function of some important vitamins are as follows. Vitamin A, it is abundantly found in fish, liver oil, livers, papaya. It provides antioxidants and maintains healthy skin, vision and mucous membrane. Vitamin D, it founds in wheat germ oil, egg yolk, milk, butter. It is essential for the formation of bones and also helps the body to absorb and use calcium. Vitamin E, it is found in wheat germ oil, cotton seed oil and peanut oil. It provides antioxidant effect, boost the immune system, helps to form blood cells and nerve tissue. Vitamin K, it is found in cabbage, cauliflower, tomatoes and essential for blood clotting. Vitamin B1, it is found in cereals and pulses. It is essential in neurological disease. Vitamin B2, it found in nuts and yeast. It helps in energy production. Vitamin B3, it is also known as pantothenic acid found in livers, meats, yeast. It helps to convert food into energy and maintain proper brain functioning. Folic acid found in abundant amount in green vegetables, it helps in RBC formation. Nicotinic acid, it is also known as vitamin B5, it is found in yeast, egg, milk, it requires for various nervous system functions. Pyridoxin, also known as vitamin B6, it is found in banana, tomato juice and also helps to produce essential protein and converts protein into energy. Next last one that is biotin, it is also known as vitamin H. It is found in Swiss charts, requires for various metabolic functions. Next constituent that is digestive enzyme. Digestive enzymes are derived from plant as well as from animals. They help in the digestion and absorption of food material. Most of the refluxes is not caused by increased production of acid in the stomach, but arises due to the poor digestion. Papain, it is a digestive enzyme derived from papaya fruit that is carica papaya belongs to family caricaceae, act as a proteolytic enzyme and also used as an anti-inflammatory agent. Bromelin, it is derived from stems and fruits of pineapple that is ananas comosus belong to family bromeliaceae, is used for the treatment of tissue inflammation and edema. Some other important digestive enzymes of animal origin are pepsin and trypsin. Next prebiotics. Prebiotics are food component that escape digestion by the normal human digestive enzymes and reaches to the colon in intact form after passage through the stomach and small intestine where they selectively promote the growth of probiotics. Inulin is the best known probiotics and also approved by FDA. It is a soluble dietary fiber and resist to digestive enzyme. It reaches to the colon in intact form where it is fermented by resident bacteria. Next probiotics. Probiotics are the living microorganism which when ingested with or without food improve the intestinal microbial balance and consequently the health and functioning of large intestine. Probiotics includes bifidobacterium and lactobacillus 
species. The major source of the probiotics are cultured dairy products such as natural cheese, yogurt and curd. Probiotics only have a transient effect and regular daily intake is needed to bring out health benefits. Nowadays, probiotics are gaining importance against Helicobacter pyroli infection, irritable bowel disease syndrome, pancreatitis, antibiotic induced diarrhea, colon cancer and corn disease. Some important probiotics are lactobacillus acidophilus which is commonly found in curd used in diet. It enhances the immune system and also reduces the incidence of vaginal infection. Paphidobacterium and Streptococcus thermophilus both found in yogurt used to treat diarrhea and rotavirus infection. Next is dietary fibers. Fibers are non-digestible polysaccharides commonly found in fruits, vegetables, grains and legumes. Dietary fibers plays critical role in keeping good health in human individual and animals. They are of two type water soluble dietary fibers and water insoluble dietary fibers. Water soluble fibers get dissolves in water and forms a gel that binds the stool slows down the absorption of glucose as well as reduces blood cholesterol level which in turn reduces the risk of heart attack. They are commonly found in oats, dried beans, legumes, apples, strawberries and vegetables. While water insoluble fibers absorb water to certain extent and mainly contribute to bulking of stool and allows quick passes of water through the alimentary canal. They are commonly found in cereals, wheat products, brown rice, carrot and vegetable with the peels. Recommended dose for the fibers for the adult is 30 gram per day while for the children is age of child plus 5 gram per day. Next, Antioxidants Antioxidants are the compound which retard or prevent the oxidation of compounds either by preventing the formation of reactive oxygen species or trap them that is scavenging of thereby general prolongs the life by inhibiting lipid peroxidation or DNA damage. Our body protects themselves against these free radicals by using natural antioxidant enzyme such as superoxide dismutase, glutathione peroxidase, catalase and the reducing agents such as glutathione, ascorbate and iron. Free radical and reactive oxygen species are also known to be involved in the etiological sequence of disease like inflammation hepatic disorder, arthritis, cancer and aging process. Antioxidant nutraceuticals are those which contain vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, polyphenols and beta carotene which are present in some fixed oils, fruits, vegetables and fishes. Role of potent antioxidant in disease prevention or treatment are as follows. Polyphenolic compounds like quercetin, rutin, gallic acid showed potent antioxidant effect by scavenging free radicals or by metal chelation. They reduces oxidation of low density lipids, cholesterol and found clinically useful in inflammation, liver damage, cancer etc. Vitamin E found clinically useful in cardiac damage. It act by decreasing the susceptibility of low density lipid for oxidation and reduces the role of platelets in thrombus formation. Vitamin is commonly found in corn oil, 
wheat germ oil, etc. Vitamin C commonly found in citrus fruit, amla, myrobalan and is clinically useful to scavenge of superoxide free radicals. Next phytochemicals. Secondary metabolites present in plants possess a specific role against particular type of disease. The phytochemical works by the following way. First they act as ligand that agonize or antagonize cell surface or intracellular receptor. They act as scavenger of reactive or toxic chemicals. They might act as a substrate or cofactor for biochemical or enzymatic reaction. They act as inhibitor of enzymatic reaction, act as adsorbent that bind to eliminate undesirable constituent in the intestine, act as enhance the absorption and or stability of essential nutrients, act as selective growth factor for beneficial bacteria, act as fermentable substrate for beneficial bacteria. Role of some potent phytochemicals in disease management has been given below. First carotenoids, they are also known as isoprenoid compound. Carotene, its antioxidant action boosts activity of natural killer immune cell and gives cornea protection against UV light. Lutolin, it protects the eyes against the development of age related muscular degeneration, cataracts and colon cancer. Lycopene, it is a powerful antioxidant, protects against formation of cancer of prostate, bladder, cervical, and leukemia. It is also reduces cholesterol level. Second polyphenolic compound. Flavonoids, they act as antioxidant, counteract the free radicals by scavenging of or formation of chelates with them. Anthocyanins, they act as antioxidant, counteract inflammation in the body and lowers blood sugar level in the diabetic person. Curcumin, it provides strong anti-inflammatory antioxidant and effective anti-clotting effect. Next phenolic acids, they reduces oxidation of LDL and cholesterol, reduces formation of cancer. Phytoestrogen. Isoflavones like genistein, they lowers cholesterol, act as antioxidant and effective against prostate, breast, bowel and other cancers. Lignans, they inhibit the development of breast and colon cancer. Next fatty acids like omega 3 fatty acid, it is polyunsaturated free fatty acid act as potent controllers of inflammatory process and maintenance of brain function reduces cholesterol deposition. Monounsaturated fatty acids, they reduces risk of coronary heart disease. Module 2 herbs commonly used in nutraceuticals. Nutritional therapy is a healing system using dietary therapeutics or nutraceutical as a complementary therapy. This therapy is based on the beliefs that foods cannot only be source of nutrient and energy, but could also provides medicinal benefits. 
list of herbs along with their biological source, active constituent and health benefits are given as follows. Garlic, it is commonly used as a spice. It is a dried bulbs of allium sativum belong to the family Liliaceae. It contain aline and allicin as an active constituent. It provides anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-gout and nervine tonic effect. Ginger, these are dried rhizomes of gingiber officinalis belong to family gingiberaceae. They contain gingiberin and gingerols. It stimulates the CNS and produces chronic bronchitis, hyperglycemia and throat effects. Ginseng, these are the dried roots of Panax ginseng belong to the family Araliaceae. It contain ginsenocytes and panaxocyte. They stimulate immune and nervous system and adaptogenic properties. Licorice, these are the dried roots of Glyceriza glabra belong to the family Leguminosae. It contain glycerizin and liquidin. It produces anti-inflammatory, anti-allergic and expectorant effects. Turmeric, these are dried rhizomes of curcuma longa belonging to the family gingivaraceae. It contain curcumin which have anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritic, anti-cancer and antiseptic effects. Sanna, these are the dried leaves of Cassia angustifolia belongs to the family Leguminosae. It contains senocytes. It provides potent purgative effect. Bale, these are unripe fruits of Agle marmelos belonging to the family Rutaceae. It contains marmelosin, which is used as digestive appetizer and in the treatment of diarrhea and dysentery. Brahmi, it contain the entire herb of Centella asiatica belonging to family Umbelliferae. It contain asiaticocytes and medicacocytes. It provides nervine tonic, spasmolytic and anti-anxiety effect. Asafoetida, it contain oleogum resin of Ferula asafoetida belonging to the family Umbelliferae. It contains ferulic acid and umbilic acid. It is used as stimulant, carminative and expectorant. Module 3 Future Prospect of Nutraceuticals Dietary factors plays an important role in premature chronic disease appearance, disease progression, morbidity and mortality. Approximately 40 to 50 percent proportion in cardiovascular disease, 35 to 50 percent proportion in cancer and 20 percent proportion in osteoporosis is attributed due to dietary factor. A growing interest in relationship between diet and health has added impetus to the demand for information on nutraceutical. This increased interest has been aided by advance in science and technology, increasing healthcare cost, change in the food law affecting label and product claim and aging population in various countries. Broad segment of Indian pharmaceutical industries included dietary supplements about 40 percent, 
and functional food and beverages market that is about 60 percent. The Indian nutraceutical market valued at US dollar 1480 million in 2011 and is estimated to grow beyond US dollar 2731 million in future. Nutraceutical is playing important role in the development of future therapeutics, but it depends on control of purity, efficacy and safety. Example of some nutraceuticals marketed in India are Revital, it is used as daily health supplement. It contains ginseng, vitamins and minerals which is manufactured by Renvaxi Private Limited India. Calcirol D3, it is a calcium supplement. It is used as calcium and vitamin supplements manufactured by Cadilla Healthcare Limited India. Global, it is used as beauty drinks. It contain antioxidants, vitamins and botanicals and fruit extract which is prepared by Nestle Pharma. Next protein X which is contain pre-digested protein, vitamins, minerals and carbohydrate which is manufactured by Pfizer Limited India. Conclusion Herbal nutraceutical is a powerful instrument in maintaining health and act against acute and chronic disease. Health professionals, nutritionists and regulatory toxicologists should strategically work together to plan appropriate regulation to provide the ultimate health and therapeutic benefits to mankind. The movement from treatment to prevention stimulates demands for nutraceutical as they affords additional health benefits beyond basic nutrition. We can say that a nutraceutical a day may keep doctors away. With all these information, here we comes to end today's lecture. Do keep in mind what we discussed today. Time for your self study. This is Anuj sign off. I will be back with one more lecture in another series. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQ quiz LORs that is www.cec.nic.in. Till then, keep studying. Goodbye. Thank you.